also have a video of those guys accomplishments that they make on the ice road trucking they went over there in six month time two months on the ice road and three months with the company that they was running with and trust me you you don't want to miss this video those guys get some brand new machine i don't want to really reveal it yet i'm in the process of editing the videos i'm gonna drop a clip soon to let you guys see what's going on but it was trust me you need to subscribe to see what's coming next youtube try stars try stars joking can you believe it i actually my revenue show me i made thirty seven thousand dollars in three months Oh my god, Landstar is mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> let me catch myself. Um that was just the revenue. Sorry uh if I mislead any um information in that um fairy tale. I just wanted to be happy. Uh, just to know that thirty seven thousand dollars was actually an over to me in US. <sighs> anyway, um back to reality. This is it. I just finished my month and um, I promised a subscriber that been pressuring me for a couple of maybe two months now to do uh, well one month now to do a video and how much I made in one month at Landstar and also my expenses and so forth which I'm gonna break it down in this video also I'm gonna give you guys a footage of one round trip and in and out of the, this round trip I'm going to um, come in and give you like break down some information basic um, some basic information based on how I run this trip what I had to do especially in the last part of this video which I did a crazy run when I said crazy I mean crazy run Thanks for tuning in. You know it's Try Stars. Truck it. For more videos like this, please subscribe. Yes, back at it again. Now this is it now. Um I want to give that subscriber a shout out. Goes by the name of N No 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 no. Goes by the name of M Osman. I don't know if I pronounce that name right, but that's what it is on my YouTube page. I'm going to put, I'm going to screenshot it, his name and put it under this video so that you guys could see it and tell me if I pronounce it right. M. Osman. Not sure. But anyway, for that subscriber uh, that wanted this video, finally the video is finished. I take one complete month to do it. So I'm going to go through with details like I said before. Uh, my first in the video that I'm going to show right after this with the round trip, you know, going, leaving out of Montreal, going into Florida and get back to Ontario. The trip was coming back to Concord, Ontario. Then from Concord, Ontario, going to Woodstock, Ontario to make a pickup and from Woodstock, Ontario into Indiana and from Indiana back to Brampton and then I make a crazy run from Brampton go all the way to Missouri empty <sighs> anyway I'm gonna break it down and let you guys know what happened and why did I did that but anyway without any further ado let us go let, let us just go into the video and take it from there um, so this load I'm gonna break it down for you guys um how much per mile is it what's the revenue on the load how much i'm actually gonna get and how many fuel i'm gonna burn doing this load also why i i had to take this load everything is gonna combine together and i'm gonna work it out with you guys and show you guys what's up what's going on why i made this choice yeah basically that's about it so stay tuned you know it's try style truck it i'm just gonna show you a little bit of footage going out and then we'll get back and we're gonna talk so peace respect and thanks try start try. like i said i'm gonna come in and out this run i actually want to show you guys when i actually got went across the border and going on the 81 the i-81 the hill climbing and my truck was basically giving me 5.6 with the, the load i was taking right um going up the hill and this one this my truck was giving me seven mile per gallon when when i was actually on the 83 the i-83 going around the toll and the i-83 and I'm, my truck was giving me seven 
miles per gallon. Now I start this run with a half tank of fuel that I actually buy when I was coming when when, when I was when, when I came back into Canada. Now this part of the, the where, where I'm showing you guys, I'm actually in on the 95 in Virginia, right? And my I was running low on fuel, trying to get to the closest uh, truck stop, which basically I did. But what I did was I went to one fuel station first and I fuel for hundred dollars right there because I wanted to get to the TA that was actually ch way cheaper than this fuel station but I went to this one and put a hundred dollars in and then after that I went to the TA when I get to the TA I fill up on, on the on the Landstar app the TA was a bit giving me a better rate right so that's what I did now continue Yes, YouTube. So right here, I'm on I-95 going down into Florida and my truck is giving me 7.9 per gallon. Like I said, I'm going to get in, uh, break in and out of this video, you know what I mean? Just to try to put everything in. You guys let me know about this edit, if it was okay doing it like this or I should do it another way or whatnot. It's just, I'm just trying something new, right? In this trip, going from Quebec into florida before i took that trip i was coming from new york right i was coming from new york i get a trip from new york coming into quebec and that trip was basically three three hundred and eighty seven miles and that trip was paying two thousand two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars or, yeah, or $2,200. That trip was paying coming back into Quebec with those 387 miles. And then I, I picked the load that was on the board going into Florida for $2.38. And the miles was 1,600 miles, right? That load was actually paying 3000 Three, three thousand and something. Not hundred percent sure. Three, three, three thousand something. I'm gonna show you guys shortly. And besides that, I went into Florida and there was no load coming back out of Florida. So what I had to do was to drive empty from from Daytona, Florida, all the way into Georgia to pick this load talk to you again. Now I'm currently in Florida. I get I get there, I get to my destination on time, which I, I actually had to spend the time or spend the night, spend the weekend there. I had to spend the weekend in Daytona, Florida. Uh, I had a great time to be honest, so let's continue. YouTube TriStars from TriStars Trucking. Thanks for tuning in. And this is the same journey um, from Montreal to Florida, Daytona. And um, I'm just gonna give you guys uh, what happened and um, how much money I spend and um, if this trip even work out but I'm gonna do a final rundown on everything at the ending of this video so I could get everyone on the same track not up and down with figures and numbers you know what I mean but I'm gonna let you guys know I came here in uh, I picked the load up on Wednesday right and um, I came here I got here on Friday afternoon which I didn't actually look at the low, the, what I'm gonna say, I was gonna say I didn't actually look at the delivery time and that is really true. You know, normally you should look at the delivery time when it's delivery. I know the pickup was the Wednesday, but I, I, I wanted to grab this load, so I just grabbed it. Didn't know that the delivery was actually Monday, the following Monday. I could have picked that load up and stayed in Canada and leave out on maybe Saturday, you know what I mean? And get here just in time but anyway I when I picked the load up I got here Friday evening when I got here Friday evening 
I stayed in the truck Friday night and um, get up in the morning and I was looking into if I should actually because uh, down here is extremely hot can't stay in the truck you have to run that tr turn your truck on run that AC to actually be comfortable so what I did I go online and I looked looked around to see what to do because I'm here over the weekend right I found a deal and um, no 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 I'm messing with my profit right so this is what I did I, I, I got a, 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 a hotel room by the beach side for $50 50 Canadian dollars I saw it online right it's it's on Daytona Beach Shore so my hotel room had AC had free breakfast I could look at the ocean view I could be on my laptop, I could do editing, I could do a lot. So I booked it for two days, right? I came out um, back on Friday. Oh, sorry, I came out back Monday at 7, eat breakfast, and come to my delivery on time to make my delivery. I, I take an Uber from the truck stop, so the Uber actually cost me uh, $19 to go, $19 to come. So I'm going to write all this down in, in the budget, you know what I mean? But it kind of work out in my head because if I stayed in that truck and chuckle that truck for two days, trust me, I know I was going to spend more than $200 fuel just by chuckling that truck for two days, right? And I spend less than $200 and, and like I said, this is Canadian. So I spend 140 no, sorry, I, I, buy, um, I buy pizza. Um, I buy cheesecake. I was, I was having a blast. Don't judge me. I mean, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you how I did it for the month so you guys would know ex exactly what's happening. I write down the numbers and like I said, at the finishing of this month um, um, profit and loss and maintenance and everything, I'm going to um, tell you guys, put this in, in, in the numbers um, counting down and whatnot. And give you guys the final uh what happened but now i'm here in um in uh, at the delivery and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna actually uh go on the load board and show you guys what are the loads on the load board looking like to go back to canada you know what i mean um, um i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about and what is it like you know what i mean so tune in try slice Truck. Yeah, what I wanted to show you on the load board is there is pr plenty of load in the US, like Florida, go anywhere else in the US. But going back to Canada, the result is very low. You know what I mean? So it's 237 load available for the US. But when I put in Canada, you will see like we're looking at 25 or 15 or 5 loads available. And then when you look at the, the prices, they're not good to even give you a good trip. YouTube, try stars, try stars, trucking. Same journey, just gonna break down some stuff for you guys. Um, basically, I am in Georgia at the moment. I have to drive from Florida empty because there's no good load down there coming up. I'm um, going back to Canada, you know what I mean? I um, I saw some load in, in Georgia, and the best load I could actually uh, pick up is a load paying two dollar forty cents from um, Georgia to Concord, Ontario. And that's 849 miles or something like that for that for that load yeah basically that's the best load i actually see i'm gonna um go and pick it up because i, I don't want to sit here well today is tuesday i'm here from well you are you already know i deliver on monday after a delivery i tried i try a couple loads wasn't looking good when i worked the calculation out and there's nothing can i can make from that load so i didn't but when i look at georgia i can see i have some good uh runs there so what I did, I, I drove all the way to Georgia and that's a two and a half hour drive and um, at the first pilot gas station in Georgia, that's where I'm at now looking for, actually I, like I said, the, the best load I found was a load 2000 paying $2,230 or something like that and um, it's uh, $2.40 per mile, best one I could actually find so I don't want to sit 
any longer. So I'm, so I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to go deliver the deliveries on Friday. So I'm going to try to make it there in the morning and see if I could grab another load um, in Ontario going somewhere else. You know, um, there is no time to actually sit, ar um, sit around, really. I have to um, make back some funds to even put back in my savings because as you guys know already that um, Lancer inspection uh, really scrape out li the, the little much I have putting down to buy my trailer you know what I mean so um, I have to get back to work and I have to pressure the street but I can't run on nothing so I'm not not because I'm not me I'm not making enough I'm going to run for anything because it made no sense by the end of the day if you're not getting any money in your pocket to put away why damage your truck so that's you know um well yeah so that's it basically that's, that's an update thanks for tuning in try slice Good morning, Tristars again. Ah, uh, today is Wednesday. Um, you already know what's going on, so let's, let's get right into it. The load I told you I was gonna pick up yesterday, um, going from Georgia to Ontario, Concord, Ontario. That that load is actually an asthma load, which you know asthma load should be more under freight, right? Under rate to carry this load. This load is actually paying two dollars and 47 cents per mile and the per mile is nine nine fifty three nine hundred fifty three miles right and this load is paying two on um two thousand three hundred and fifty dollars like i said i'm gonna break down all these numbers um in the ending of when, when i'm finishing this video but i just want to make sure i give you guys the update and make sure i have uh you know i have everything correct so you know i'm i'm, I'm putting it real and give it to you guys real what's going on my daily run uh subscriber i requested so that's what i'm doing so basically i just don't want to miss anything like i said i'm gonna let you guys know how my truck run i put 475 dollars fuel from where i was yesterday that was leaving out of florida so basically I run eight hours of empty miles. Eight to get to get this load, basically. So what what was that mean is I run two hours from on Monday, I run two hours from Florida, go all the way up to Georgia. And that was at the top of Georgia. And I was um searching, 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 and I was there for two days. And I only saw this load come up in what I just mentioned earlier. So this is how it is going back to Canada. Well, not all the time, but I, you know, I was just, I was just trying something basically to see um, how it could work out for me or whatever. But um, yeah, this is what's going on. So like I said, daily run. For the month it just started so let me see what the rest of the days is going to be like and stuff like that so thanks for tuning in you know it's try stars trucking youtube try stars oh man try stars trucking oh it's the same trip it's the same trip but um i have a puncture tire i have a puncture tire on the trailer i'm on the uh, the 75 um between uh Georgia and uh, Tennessee my tire on the trailer blow out so basically I'm at the truck stop right now um, at, at pilot waiting I call Landstar they told me they're gonna call the pilot tire repair uh, and have them come and um, fix this tire so basically I'm parked with the blow out tire, um, actually just waiting on them to come. Um, yeah, basically that's the journey. That's what's going on right now. So just 
tune in tune in to show you guys the update of what's going on so you know try stars will get back to you guys as soon as i'm fixed and back out there running again so thanks for tuning in try stars checking like i said i'm not missing anything you know what i mean i'm gonna show you exactly what's going on i mean this is what trucking is like this is trucking you know what i mean this is trucking once you're ready you're ready there's nothing to worry about try stars trucking youtube try stars try stars trucking um one more i have one more tire that i lost again on the landstar trailer um coming down on the 75 ohio another one blow out you know, i got two blow out tire one yesterday wasted my time couldn't able to make it in well complete more of the journey that i should have then tonight well not tonight well uh it's, it's like about three o'clock now there's another tire that went so i'm gonna go at the back and show you guys what's going on so it's on the inside tire like the one before on the same driver's side but it's on the far back the one that blew out yesterday was the one um front back you know is on the trailer so the, the trailer front tire on the driver's side so the, the other one that go now is the the one at the far back so let me show you guys what's going on <laughs> yeah so this is the the new one that they changed and put on this new one uh yesterday this is the the, the new tire um the one So the one that is blowout is this one right here as you can see all this rubber down on the ground right here this one is done you can see there's a big hole in the back of it the rock so this is what's going on peeps one more tire Yeah, so I'm just gonna get into the video uh, about how much I actually make for the month, basically. So I'm gonna give you all the breakdowns by numbers and everything. So I'm gonna go inside the load, the Landstar load board, and I'm gonna show you guys what, I, how much I made, how much Landstar took out. You know, Landstar take the 35% out. Also, they, um, they, you know, I get 100, 100% fuel surcharge. And if I get any loading and unloading, I get 100% of that. Meaning, um, I get that funds first before they actually take the, the percents out of the, the the full amount of funds, right? So whenever the, the fuel surcharge and the unloading, if I get any, comes out of the money, whatever leave, that's what they will take the 35% out of, right? Sometimes that fuel maybe i got fuel leave back from the other trip i made so I, I don't normally use all the fuel sometimes so i will actually have fuel on my card remain which i could take it off if i want you know what i mean like take it as cash but you know i normally keep it because fuel you always need it right so this is it i'm just gonna break it down for you guys we're just gonna go through the online we're gonna go we're gonna go straight in the dashboard and show you what's going on thank you for tuning in you know it's try stars trucking right so this is it Okay, so this is what Landstar load board is like. When you go in, you know, you go to the money tab and after the money, you go to direct deposit. You know, that's how we do it. We go to direct deposit and then after direct deposit, then um, I can see, direct, well, it's direct documents, you know. So when we go in direct documents, we're going to go uh, to the fourth and the fourth would be April, right? So we're gonna go in April. I'm gonna show you guys what happened with that first run. Now, like I mentioned to you guys before, the first one run was actually from uh, Enscott, New York to Merble, Mer Quebec, right? And then after that load, I, I took another load going to Daytona, Florida. And you can see up there, uh, it was $2,700 from Daytona trip that Landstar took the, their 35% out of and I get $442 for fuel surcharge, right? And also the one from New York was $2,000 and um, 
Landstar took well two well two thousand two hundred dollars. Landstar took their um thirty five percent out of the two thousand dollars, and I get the one the one two hundred dollars basically to myself, which I could use for fuel or whatever. So when everything adds up after Landstar taking out everything, I leave back with three thousand seven hundred and thirty four dollars right after that three thousand um seven hundred and thirty four dollars then um the fees that landstar took out license plate first first one is the canadian um, liability these fees take out every month right and because it take out every month it's like fifty five dollars for the liability for canadian insurance the, the plate for seven months is 1325 i have 294 leave um the other one they they they, they took out a couple other fees and every when over on the right side here where you see 1476 that's all the fees plus the fuel surcharge and everything that taken out of this uh money everything that taken out of the money is over the, um, the deductions and charges and up top at the deduction and charges, you can see $1.75 and that is fees that they charge for putting money on your card, on the card that they gave to you. So they actually take fees for that. Um, so I end up finishing that week with $2,258. That's what sent to my direct deposit account, right? Um, by then I would have uh, more funds on my fuel card because um, yeah basically that's 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 what happened okay so now in this one basically I do did a run the run when I came back into Concord I pick a load up from Woodstock Ontario and when I said came back to Concord meaning I run to Georgia empty from Mont from Daytona, I had to go to Georgia empty to pick this load up. So from Georgia to Concord, that load is actually paying $2,350, which I get the $250 for fuel surcharge, and Landstar took their 35% out of the $2,000, leave me with $1,300, right? The run that I make when I get into Brampton, uh, Ontario, I, made, I went to Woodstock, Ontario, pick up a load, go to Munchie, uh, Indiana and that run was running uh, 1,300, $1,250 and I took that run it was actually three oh, it was actually 300 and 200 and something miles to get to the destination with this load and so I complete that week basically before the, the tax and fees come out I, I had 2,700 after Landstar take their percent out and I complete that week with one thousand nine hundred and ninety three dollars right that was for that run now this run actually this was the run i made from indiana coming back into brampton right and that run uh it, it should have been the run from from Woodstock going into indiana and coming back should have been on one invoice but for some reason, I don't know, maybe I put the people in paperwork in late. So that this is what happened. I only make three hundred dollars off the run coming back in because if you can see I take five hundred and seventy seven dollars out of the thirty the thirty percent that comes to me straight. And the reason for that is because I was crossing the Detroit border and at the Detroit border the, the fuel is extra is is reasonable, very cheap. So I always fill up my truck there because I know I'll be getting other runs that I would need that gas for. So that's what I do sometimes when I take out the money like that to fill my tank up to make good runs. You know what I mean? So let's tune him back in. Now, this is the crazy run now. So let me pause the video right here with this actual crazy run. Now, let me talk about this run. Basically, like I said, I fill my tank up at the, the Windsor border come back with the load to deliver in Brampton right when I was in Brampton I went to cab class 
I went to cap class because you know Landstar will um, stop you again from getting load if you're not um, complying with their rules or whatnot right so I went to cap cap class in in Branford right after finished cap class I got paid two hundred and fifty dollars from cap class just to go to cap class to get paid for it right and um, after cap class I went back to the truck it was eight hours in there by the way went back in the truck and I was sitting down and I was scrolling on the load board while I was scrolling on the load board I saw um, a load on there for five for seven thousand five hundred dollars right basically I was 14 hours away from that load and that load was going to Edmonton now Edmonton is from where the load was picking up in Missouri was actually 1500 miles to get to Edmonton and the load was paying I think it was four dollars four dollars four dollars something cent per mile right now in my thoughts I wanted to get to Edmonton for more than one reason I'm gonna show you I'm gonna tell you guys what's going on later and so I decided to run to Edmonton now run to Missouri MT I actually saw a load in in in, in, in Toronto going to Indiana which I could take that load go to Indiana and deliver and then go but that load was paying like one dollar thirty six cents and then the weight on that load was forty thousand pounds and to me make that type of run I'm gonna end up evil lose basically because the few, you're gonna take but the fuel and then the wear and tear with that heavy load on my truck wasn't gonna work out so for me it was it, it, it worked while running empty to be honest work while running empty so sometimes those load may hold up a time and then you may miss the pickup time to get that pickup load because it was at a certain time and I told it the broker that I would make it there which I actually make it I get that load and it was in my like I said in, in my thought and in my head I was saying okay I can complete the week with five thousand US dollars and that would be great to make that run to run out there and to go to um, Edmonton right but actually I got 700 I got 722 dollars for fuel surcharge and I also got four hundred dollars for loading and unloading so that I got eleven hundred dollars to me right so I'll all Landstar had was six thousand two hundred and seventy four dollars to take their thirty percent out of so after they did that I left back with uh four thousand dollars and if you add the fuel surcharge in it is five thousand one hundred and something right now up top where you can see uh, two hundred dollars up there and there another uh dollar fifty um i actually get i get back money from that was wait time and and some other stuff that i you know landstar pay pay at a later date i don't remember what 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 those money were for but i got i got those money back right um that was that that is the up top where is the uh, revenue where the 97 is and the 200 is i also i got back those funds from landstar from trips that maybe i went there and I, they were late or they owed my time up or something and the broker charged for it so i get paid okay um the next thing was after they took out all the tax and fees and everything you know insurance and all that the premium charge insurance you see 215 right there that's for the insurance and basically i end up they end up deducting fifteen hundred dollars out of that money so i end up with three thousand nine hundred and eighty three dollars and i didn't use all the fuel to um to go to edmonton because as you guys already know i filled up at the border before before i went to brampton so i already have fuel in my truck so when i went to brampton made a delivery and come back i put three on two hundred and fifty dollars at the border to refill my tank right and like i said the border is very cheap so i fill up at the border that at, at uh, windsor border i fill up there and i went across empty and like i said my truck was running extremely well when it's empty I, i'm gonna show you how my truck was burning when i was running empty my truck actually burned 11.5 mile per gallon 
And like, you know, I always want to put this in. I always tell you guys, I'm running Amsoil in my truck and I won't recommend something if it what if it didn't work. You know what I mean? And and under all my videos, Amsoil, the link to buy online or you don't you need to even have to buy online. You can call them up. There's a number down there or you can put in Amsoil in your Google Maps and the, the head office will come up. You can call up. There are good people to deal with. You call them, you order your oil, you let them deliver it to your home. And there is a number under this video um, that belong to me. It's, it's a it's a basically it's a reference number that you can give them. And that number, when you use that number to purchase your oil, I will also get you know a little commission of what whatever purchase me. I mean, it's not like I'm promoting things that don't work. You guys know I I told you already. I run this aisle for over two years now. And that's the reason why I come out to want to show you guys what's going on with it, this oil. And, I, and if you did not see the oil analyst video, or the oil sample video, it's there on this channel with that oil running in my truck and what happened. And I could run more on that oil and all that. So it's not, you know, like I said, I actually experienced it first. I, 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 I test it first. I do it first before I actually come out and tell you guys anything about it. But anyway, up to you what you want to do back to the video like i said that crazy run i made into edmonton um like i said it, it worth it for the week i make basically four thousand us dollars i went over to edmonton and my friends was there and trust me those there their guys running on the ice road trucking i i also have a video of those guys accomplishments that they make on the ice road trucking they went over there in six month time two months on the ice road and three months with the company that we, they were running with and trust me you you don't want to miss this video those guys get some brand new machine i don't want to really reveal it yet i'm in the process of editing the videos i'm gonna drop a clip soon to let you guys see what's going on but it was trust me you need to subscribe to see what's coming next and oh my god i don't want to i don't want to burst i don't want to give away all, all all what's going on but it, it, it makes sense for me i was over there for three days you know what i mean and then start over my run i get a run from there go back into the states and whatnot but never nevertheless um the final result everything is there on paper everything is there on paper right now the final result of how much i actually made for the month um i didn't i didn't check up the revenue because i mean revenue is a revenue I only check up what i take home right now for the run the run from florida and also the one the one from new um new york coming back into quebec it was actually paying me two thousand two hundred and fifty eight dollars point seventy six cent for that for those two runs altogether that's what i get the next one was the run from georgia and also the one from Brampton going into Indiana. That one was nineteen hundred and ninety-three dollars point eighty-eight cent. And the, the the single run running back to Brampton from Indiana that was I actually get three hundred and four dollars that week for that run. And the final run, the crazy run, I actually make three thousand nine hundred and $82.05 for that run. So overall, everything add up, I get $8,538.69 for that one month run in US dollars. Now, I'm a Canadian BCO, like I said before. The US BCOs making good money, you know what I mean? Because I can see on the load board, it's looking pretty good for the US guys. But Canadian BC is a different story. Um, the loads are not that good in that month, in the other months. The two last months was, wasn't was good on the load board, was extremely bad. And the overall funds I actually take home in Canadian dollars is $11,473.86 when everything is add up and uh equivalent 
but the US dollar is equivalent to the Canadian is eleven thousand four hundred and seventy three dollars. Now Osman wanted me to tell him about the expenses. Well honestly I didn't have any expenses on this in, in this month. There was no expenses, there was nothing wrong with my truck. The only thing that came up was actually the boots. I made a bit uh, I built I do I did a video on it with the boot le uh, leaking with the guy the, the guys didn't put the o ring back in. So I actually went and buy two boots. I buy ear filter, I buy uh ear water separator and I put those in myself. It only cost me like uh for everything it cost me two hundred and twenty dollars for the new pair of boots everything everything that i just mentioned just now so all come out of this money for expense was the 200 like i mentioned before and if you're talking about food and stuff like that i mean i always have food well i mean i may take whatever what i always have food in my truck and my truck payments would be 1560 1567 dollars for my truck payment so that would carry me back down to maybe nine thousand something for home so to speak so yeah this is this was my run um hope you guys enjoy this video i try my best to put it together um you guys leave me some comment let me know what's going on and rem remember remember this before i am a rookie at landstar i'm not i'm not there yet you know i'm still working out this is the three 120 days since i'm here right so um this is what's going on and thanks for tuning in please subscribe if you're not already and please please leave your best comments so i could see what's going on and i could learn from it also so thanks for tuning in you know it's trying to chuck in and us man pick up yourself i mean i did the video so peace out for more videos thanks. like this please subscribe